our school, I would actually. The head teacher reveals his dark side. Year seven have an out of body experience. And there's a clown in town. Everyone needs a class clown. My hair's off sleep. Our school is back with a brand new bunch of students. You'll see everything that goes on in secondary school. Your attitude stinks. From fun and friendships to loads of challenges and new experiences. Welcome to our school. Every year, over 250 year sevens join our school. Spread out a little bit. And for us teachers, that's a lot of new names and faces to remember. One of the most exciting things for us Hi, Ninja Man. What are we doing? is getting to know our new students. It's a regular thing you do, kid. You're always going to find a fabulous mix of personalities. <coughs> there are the loud. <coughs> there are the quiet, sensitive ones. And no form class would be complete without its very own. I got a mud on my face, I'm a big disgrace. Class clown. Logan is one of your seven's liveliest students. School shouldn't be boring. I think everyone like needs a class clown. This morning, your seven have baths with Mr. Morgan. Shh, I'm sitting with them and talking. Logan, why have you got a lolly? Oh no, I opened it straight after food tech. My aunt finished it, so like. My aunt is going to bed. So can I just finish it off, please? No. Okay. It's not long before Logan's starting to push it a bit too far. That should be replicated. Big word there. Shit, big word, small man. <laughs> big word, small people. <laughs> and once again, he's in hot water. I hope for high school type. You need to sit down before I lose it. I would say I've got a mischief side of me. Like I like getting into trouble. A lot. A lot. I do you two just stand, stand aside. Oh. You should not be speaking. Because one or two individuals then speak, you then think officer is allowing it then. Right, I expect better from you. So sure, I, you I, I, some, I know, sorry, but I... you're rude and you don't realise you're being rude. Sorry, so we just giggling. Right, it's how, how I work. Yeah, right. Yeah, it's how I work. You know with his mum and two younger brothers, Alfie and Kian. Do you choose and five them? Two, four, six. Could annoy him being a big brother because all my younger siblings look up to me and i got to be a good role model. 95, 100. Yeah, go on, but. Oh, what, what have you been in? What numbers have you been in? Don't do your ones. Kian is four and I love him to bitch. He's the cutest thing ever. <laughs> I hope he stays the way he is. Like, he's tiny. I know. I know. He's like the best. No, it's wrong. Being the responsible big brother at home has given Logan lots of self-confidence. I'm myself. I'm my own person. I'm like, that's how I want to be. Confidence is brilliant. Miss. So guys, I'm going to have to move on now. Miss. But when you're in class, you do learn when it's okay to speak up and when you need to pipe down. Miss, you're not technically. Logan, lots of other people have their hand up, so you shouldn't be shouting out. He's not a naughty brother. Like, you can't annoy him. Loud. Loud. He just, he just gives his opinion Disruptive. when nobody needs it. Can I have everybody mouth quiet, mouth please? Mouth Logan, I'm standing right next to you. I know I can be annoying on time to time, like, like when we just want to get our work done. But like, it's just the way I am. Like, I don't know when to stop, really. Right, Leon! Some students, it can get frustrating if you're trying to work. Year seven! I have asked for silence three times! Well, everyone else is being all rowdy and being bad. 
that interaction. I want to see that body language. I want to see that express the expressions. Do you find pleasure in teaching young minds? And if so, why? I find so much pleasure teaching young minds. You said, like, oh, I do love teaching it. What, what do you like about the school and why? What is the hardest thing you do on a daily basis? There's not time for everyone to ask Mr. Hicks a question. So I'm going to choose three of my students who normally might find this challenge quite difficult. I think people who stood out to the us, okay, um, is Megan. Okay, well done. Logan. Yeah. Well done, guys. Well done, guys. Well done. Okay. And I was the one of the lucky three. Now I have my question, Masters. It's time to work out exactly what juicy information we want to extract from the head. I, I remember being in you once. Right. Was you, in your, was you naughty or was you in you because you good? Um, because I had isolation in you. Well, right now, you're in you for a good reason. Oh, I did. Okay, so, I was very, very impressed, all right, on how you conducted yourself in class earlier. All right, Ethan, you're normally, like, the quietest boy in class, I was a little bit afraid to go out with shell. Yes. You amazed me. Thank you. Yeah. We need to come I, up I with some like killer it. questions, teacher, and reveal the true Mr. Hicks. Last, uh, what, what super what would you have? I like that one. How much money do you get and how what do you spend it on? I, I quite like that one, yeah. yeah. Got it's a little bit truly. it's a little bit juicy, right? No, no. Too cheeky out there. Yeah, okay. yeah, but don't forget, all these questions should be like your burning desires to find out what you want to know, right? Have you ever had a fake tan? Yeah. If so, why? Oh, really? I can just imagine now Mr. Hicks in the, in the tan <laughs> salon. I'm yeah, right on. Have you... I think off the start, if so, what? What? You what? can't ask that. Oh, yeah, we can. I do. Somebody stole my colouring pens last year. Did and I was evil. Yeah. <laughs> what if it was Mr. Hicks? <laughs> getting to know you. Getting to know about you. So what do our school think they know about their head teacher? Mr. Hicks is scary when he needs to be. Mr. Hicks isn't scary. Nobody is scary. Look, you see him walk to the thing, you want to look a void him, but like, don't make eye contact with him. He's also got a hindsight where he'll help you out a lot if you're really stuck. Mr. Hicks is a nice guy. Also, he does shout a lot. So, get back you now! Mr. Hicks has got such a deep voice. He's like, it's down here. I'm Mr. Hicks. I hope he doesn't watch this. <laughs> the big moment has arrived. Mr. Campbell and I have gathered everyone in the hall to watch our three interviewers put Mr. Hicks under the spotlight. We are going to give him the best grilling of his life. We want to make him squirm, don't we, guys? Okay, so without any further ado then, Mr. Hicks. Stage. We're going to get it going. Okay, sir. So now I'm now I'm really worried. <laughs> Brace yourself. Picture this in your mind: if Mr. Campbell and Mrs. Worth were both dangling off the edge of a cliff, <laughs> who would you save first? Oh. <laughs> Do you know? I, I'd save Mrs. Worth first because the chances are Mr. Campbell's feet would be quite close to the bottom anyway. <laughs> So it would definitely be Mrs. Worth. Mr. Hicks more of a chance of getting out alive. I'm not surprised when I hear Mr. Hicks laugh because I thought he was a very stern person who wouldn't laugh even at the funniest joke in the world. But laugh, I was like, maybe he's not as stern as I thought he was originally. Thank you very much. Thank Next you. is Logan as question master. But will he be able to keep his cheekiness in check? I would just actually describe you as grumpy, but, um, what five words? Oh, no, that's not the best. <laughs> what five words would you describe yourself as? What five words would I describe myself as? That's a good question. Fair, firm, um, maybe when you say grumpy, you mean strict. I hope you mean strict and firm, not grumpy. Um, but I can be a bit moody, and I'm bad in the morning. As grumpy as the day goes on, I hope. He seems, he seems nice. Yeah, he is he's nice. He's tidy, but he's sound. Yeah. 
First of all, thank you for giving us this opportunity to ask you these questions. Pleasure, Ethan. Being on stage in front of an audience, I'm nervous. Okay, my first question. Are you a good singer or dancer? I like to think I'm a really good dancer. Okay. But my wife disagrees. Right, okay. Don't ask me to sing, though, Ethan, because I won't be able to. Okay. Have you ever broken a bone in your body? If so, how did you do it? Yeah, I, I've broken my neck on my 20th birthday. We went past the boating lake. I decided that I would dive into the boat. And I suddenly discovered that the boating lake was that deep. Oh, wow. So I was in a hospital for uh, quite a long time. It sort of changed my life a little bit. I think that's why I became a teacher as well, actually, after that. Oh, okay. It's a person, but once you hear, like, things he's been through, I think it's got a lot of people to make a feel more comfortable around them. So that was tough. That was tough, and I wasn't expecting a lot of those questions. I think Ethan was, like, a good interviewer. He asked some of the best questions, I feel, and thanks. Round of applause for questions, guys. It just made me feel, like, more confident, I, I would say. And that newfound confidence has led to Ethan taking part in some activities that I never would have imagined him trying. Mr. Bulma is going to stand here in his stance with his pads on. Don't hurt me. I will. If you ask me would I do boxing when I was in like year four, I would have said definitely not. Going straight? Oh, that's brilliant. I volunteered because I wanted to was something that I never even thought I'd take interest in. And again. Left, right. So Let's Ethan's found his feet in the boxing ring. And Logan is showing he wants to improve himself too. I really want to be on and behave. I might have to like reel it in a little bit, but like, still keep that like loud Logan with me, like on time to time. And I have something that might just help. Today in drama, they're learning all about mindfulness. Did you have a question? Yeah. We're going to be a throat in the year. Who knows? Who knows what'll happen? Mindfulness means, like, you're just relaxed and, like, you're just thinking about what's on the inside, inside of the outside. Just reflecting back when you have your eyes closed and just relaxing. Bring all of your attention from the outside all into your body. Go with your worries. I make Just ocean noises. Relax. Breath when you breathe in. Raise your arms up. And then hands down. <laughs> Let them drift back down to the floor and make the sounds of an ocean. That's not a bad interpretation. So who wants to hear what this sounds like? And she had the ball and then... Like, she went like that with a bunch of stick and it made a very satisfying noise. Right, yeah, is it? 